What's happening, family? We back in this thing with another one, man. As we got a very important video to talk about. We got that man, God Coleon. Y'all know the one that Rap Williams, Charleston White, was supposed to get in the ring and box. They've been having it back and forth for quite some time now. And these two men were supposed to settle their differences. But due to this situation that happened right here at the fight press conference, the fight got shut down. The people who were putting on the event decided they no longer wanted to put it on because of Charleston White's actions. Now, if you ask me, I felt the fight was never going to happen due to the fact that Charleston White wasn't going to get in the ring and allow the world see him get whooped by anyone that would hurt his career. So why would he do that? But this situation is what they're blaming as to the reason why the fight got shut down. Now, Carleon goes on to speak about this situation on live and open up about everything. Give y'all all the details that all these major media platforms were not given. It's like Mozzie said, it's a favoritism game these dudes play these days. Wack 100 gets on live talking crazy about this man, not even knowing him, not even really knowing the specifics. Then you talk about how this man was lying about Charleston White hiding behind his girl. But if you go back and watch the video, Charleston White clearly stepped behind his girl before he pulled out that knife and hit dude in the top of his head with it over the top of his girl. Then backed up into a corner and all you seen in Charleston White's face was nothing but fear. Like, come on, bro. Really speak the truth. But these people don't speak the truth. They try to control narratives by putting out cat lies and twisting the truth. When you can see the truth with your own eyes, if you just go look at it, family, look at him. He took a step over and walked behind his girl. Is he not behind her right now? Come on, man. But y'all make sure y'all wipe your feet as you come in the door. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all. Go follow me on Instagram at allfactskingkayo. It's going across the screen. While he also opened up in this video about what happened after he got mace and what happened after he got hit with the knife in his head. Check this out. Hell yes, that pig poker hurt. What you think it didn't? <laughs> what you think it didn't? Hell yeah, it hurt. I love the ice house too. It's a good thing. Yes, it hurt. Let me try it on you. Let me poke. Let me do this with. Let me crown you because he christened me with the motherfucker. Let's do it. Hit the DMs. Let's work. Let's work. Alexa, turn the room lights on. Oh, she turned her phones on. Let's work, y'all. <clears throat> I'm ready to tell my side of the story. No, fam, I was upset. I was upset because, like I said, I wasn't even upset. When I went to the elevator, did the elevator thing, Charleston tried to shake my hand and he tried to, he, he legit tried to shake my hand right there. <clears throat> and had not, had we fought, had we fought or had they announced, or it's just, it's not even say that. Had things went differently, I probably would have shook his hand. It's a strong possibility that I, I would have shook his hand. Had things went differently. But I was upset. So when he tried to shake my hand, I mushed his face. And then I forgot that he is like Iron Man. Where he got utility belts and gadgets and shit. I don't even know, I don't even know where the knife came from. Now that I think about it, the Nick I think the nigga got like a X Man. He I think Charleston White is an alien or something, bro. He, that nigga alien. Charleston White got to be an alien. I should I'm gonna talk to Wack about it. Charleston White is alien. I'm convinced. Either an alien or he a clone of the real Charles White. Because he pulled weapons out fast. And he got gadgets and shit, man. He had the gloves. Y'all, he had the he had the switchblade um bag. 
I ain't never seen anybody with a duffel bag full of. <laughs> he had a duffel bag full of weapons. <laughs> he, he, had the, he had the fanny pack where he had a fanny pack with weapons in it, y'all. The man had a fanny pack with weapons in it. What was I supposed to do? I was unprepared. I was. <laughs> I was unprepared. I was unprepared. I, I, I should have been prepared. I, I thought I'd done my research, but I didn't. Obviously, I didn't do my research. He had, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, he had a fanny pack full of gadgets. And then he had ones that you didn't see. That's why he wore the robe. He's like Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did the knife come from? Where did the knife come from, though, fam? Like, it's like he shoot it, he shot it out his arm from the bottom like Wolverine, but Spider Man at the same time. Maybe he was that's why he was trying to shake your hand. Maybe he was trying to get you first. And then he pushed his face. Like he was like, bitch. <laughs> he might have been trying to get me already. Yeah. And I just mushed his face. <laughs> and he just got me. <laughs> why he hit me like an old man? <laughs> why I wanna slip the I he hit me like he was a chunkler. I said, <laughs> he did his look. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, bro. Man, that man hit me. Why he hit me like an old man <laughs> with a spoon? <laughs> it hurt, too. <laughs> That's real tears, bro. Real tears. That's is so funny to me now. Bruh, I'm gonna have flashbacks of that shit. PTSD and shit. Can't shake old niggas' hands. <laughs> I ain't shaking no more old niggas' hands, bro. I, I ain't playing with no more niggas older than me, bro. You gonna be Yeah, yeah. Like nigga get the swat shit. Yeah. <laughs> bro, hell no. <laughs> Man, Nilla. No disrespect to my um my one homie right here, uh, Gibby. He's a cameraman. He's a very vanilla guy. He, I didn't expect him to fight anyone. I never thought he was going to get any squabbles from me, okay? <laughs> I brought him with me knowing that shit was going to get weird, okay? It's, 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 so every other nigga that was with me, I just met, bro. That's I'm about to I'm about to stay facts. Every other nigga that was with me, I literally just met within the last week. The one nigga that I met that I sparred was telling niggas that he was my trainer. Okay. He thought he was more famous than me. That nigga thought he was more famous than me. <sighs> so that was that, and then that was my other friend that I just met. Is he's also an influencer, and he 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 might have been on the clout chasing side. Just a little. Both of these niggas was taking a lot of pictures. You feel me? It wasn't like it wasn't like my cameraman was there to take pictures, but pictures of me. These niggas was taking taking pictures of everyone they were meeting through me. With <laughs> they were having me take the pictures. Like what the so, fuck? But home. But bro, from out there, I feel like his is still at least justified. Yeah, bro, nah, he came through. Clutch. Shout out to Crazy So Fly, bro. You came through Clutch. Real talk. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. There's some real niggas out there. I fuck with some real, some real niggas out there. But some, bro. Nah, uh, not some. The other two niggas that was with me. I don't know them fucking niggas, bro. I knew what the fuck I was doing. I knew what the fuck I was doing. I got. I fuck with some real niggas out here in LA. The niggas that you seen me with was not my niggas, bro. I ain't gonna say it like that, but I'm saying it like that. Like I don't know them niggas. I just met them niggas. The fuck is y'all think I'll y'all think I'll bring the goons to that shit? I'm an entertainer. Do your math. Do your math, man. I, I mean, I really got hit in the fucking head. I really got maced. And that mace? had me dancing. <laughs> they really didn't let me fight. They really disqualified the fight. All that really happened, that's real, th that's facts. Facts. All those are facts. But, uh, 
Yeah, man. That man hit me. That man hit me with that old man strength, man. That man got that shade tree mechanic strength. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. He pinched me when we fell in the pool. That bitch pinched me and tried to bite my cheek. You know that you, he put his teeth. I felt the wetness of his teeth on my cheek. He hit that one. He, he said, ah. I said, oh, this nigga trying to bite me. He like, <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, he, oh, bro, he get lit. Like, all right, bro. That's, he, he, yeah, Charles and White built different. I think he a clone or alien, one or two. I really think that nigga a clone or alien. Charles and White might be an alien. Don't don't believe what y'all seeing, man. That nigga's a clone or alien. He's not real. Yeah, I'm glad I ain't get tased, man. I ain't never been tased. Yeah, Hell. Tased is, at least, like, it, you're sore as fuck. That mace was a motherfucker. Was, <laughs> I, 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 that mace was a bitch. I couldn't even I see no more. Right like, like, my arms was on fire. Yeah. I took a shower and my arms got on fire. That shit was different. Fucked, yeah. yeah, I got well, yeah, when Jazz pulled the out, what y'all did is is uh, my girl grew fast. I was okay when I got by the car, but my girl ran up and poured that big ass bottle of water down my motherfucking face. Bro, it was like she poured a shower gel fire. It was, it was like a like fire, bro. Like the hot lava just poured on the on the fucking frontier top of my forehead. And just roll down my motherfucking nose, nostril, nigga. That shit hit my nostril, nigga. I breathed it. But then it went on my lip. When that bitch hit my lip, bitch. Ooh. Then it got on my neck. And I had, I already had a scratch on my neck when this nigga pulled me, yanked my chain and pushed, cut my neck. When it hit that fucking cut on my fucking neck, that's when I started doing the Josephine Johnny and shit. That's when I started slapping the concrete, trying to beat, beat my way out of hell. Because that mother, listen, nigga, I was, boy, that nigga hit me with that beep beep boop bop. That nigga, <laughs> that skibbity doo wop, that nigga hit me with that. Oh, I, it was like I heard Nelly say, hi, yeah. <laughs> so hot, yeah. And then it was 109 degrees outside, dog. Every time, I was just trying to get out the heat, but I was on my face was on fire. I literally stood. I was in the car with my face next to the AC. <laughs> like, sitting there with my face next to the AC for, I was just cool in sections and shit. You heard me? Then I put my face out the car. I said, <laughs> I said, milkman. <laughs> I said, milkman. Nigga hit me with that bitch. I put my face back in the car. Oh, look, let me tell you about the niggas who rescued me, man. The niggas, I ain't finna tell y'all about the niggas I'm with, man. Hold up, bro. The two, two niggas I'm with. That I go in there with. Now, mind you, Gibby with me, bro. Now, I'm, I told y'all, he very fluffy, vanilla white guy. He motherfucking ain't fighting nobody. He not, he, he goddamn me, he, he's very nice, kind, sweet guy. He ain't none of that. He ain't finna be on no gang gang shit, none of that. He might shoot you. Keep a pistol. I will tell y'all that he's a white man. He will shoot you. Don't try him. But the other two niggas that came with me, I'm telling you, one nigga was cloud chasing. They both were car chasers, but the other nigga thought he was famous, more famous than me. And I just met these niggas. I, but crazy, he cool. Spud, I don't know. That's some nigga's name. I named you Oops, I don't give a fuck. But look, all right, so boom. The other two niggas that y'all see putting me in the car, I, just, I met them niggas that day. I don't even know who them. They was part of the culture. They was part of the people who put the... Yeah, they was part of. They was the niggas, the niggas. They the niggas who who programmed the shit with us. They the niggas that did the pay per view. So I'm like, I don't even know who got me at the time, but I know I hear the I hear the voice. You know what I mean? So I, I remember like, oh, I know bro voice because he from Alabama. He had the accent. You feel me? So boom, I'm like, like they get me in the car. The nigga, the nigga, they bring. I guess they bring me to the CVS. I can't see nothing. I'm. I got my motherfucking goddamn me head face in the AC while we riding. I can't see nothing. I just hearing people talk, 
and I know we're not moving. We guess we're not moving. I guess he gets to CVS. I'm just got my face in the goddamn vent, and I guess they're gonna get the milk. Then he come out the goddamn email. I jump out the goddamn car. It's so hot. My face literally peeled off when I got out the car. I fell off, hit the ground. Face, face fell off. Okay, I don't have no more face no more. The man pulled the milk. The, the man pulled the milk. When he pulled the milk, it's like a new face was built at that moment, right? It was like a new face was built at that moment. And then the milk dried. And then it was like the milk was hot. I don't know. It was like the milk was hot. Okay, so. so did the milk help at all? The milk was fantastic. But probably like only when it was being only poured. Only when it was being poured. Yeah. That's like, dude, because I. Because I thought it was over, then it wouldn't. Because, bro, I got, I walked into the, like, I went to the area after you left. I, after the spray happened in my face, lit up. it was like I had crawfish season all over my fucking face. Yeah, bro, it was like as if somebody threw a, 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 a water balloon. Filled with, with, with crawfish seasoning and cayenne peppers and ghost peppers in my face. In my face. And it's my girl fault. I love her to death, but she pulled that motherfucker. Because he, he only got me on the forehead. <clears throat> he only hit me on the forehead. So that's why I jumped back. It went in my eyes just a little bit, very little. But he got me on the forehead with it. When she poured that bottle of water across my damn face, Oh, my living baby Jesus. Boy, I ain't never. I got. I want him to let me spray him one fucking time. That, they they should have not disqualified the fight. They should have let me spray him spray with back. the damn mace. You feel me? That would have been fair, bro. Like, let me mace him back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd have felt justified if they let me mace him back. But no, they're gonna disqualify the fight. They need to let me re let me make we need to have a mace off though. Straight up. So that's why you get your best mace. I get my best mace. We go out there on the motherfucking goddamn we paintball field and we go hard. Like for the best paintball field is crazy. <laughs> <laughs>